Um, my name is Jeremy Ahome. I am 17 years old and I raced in the UK in the British Formula 3 Championship. I go to boarding school in the UK. So my school's called Cheltenham College. Uh, so going to school in the UK enables me to race in the UK and also continue my studies at the same time, which I think is really important. So I can keep growing in both racing and education. The school have been really supportive, so whenever I need to take part in any racing activity, whether it's practice or the race weekend, they've been able to allow me to go and do it, and then they've given me work before and after, and they've helped me catch up. So they've been supportive in helping me with my activities while also keeping up with the school side of things. I started go-karting here in Kenya when I was eight years old. Then the more that went on and I got interested in it, then I wanted to pursue a career in racing. So. I found out more about Formula One and I knew that's what I wanted to do in the future. So then I started moving up the ranks. So after go-karting, I did Formula BMW in Asia. And then this year, I'm doing the British Formula 3 Championship. After Kenya, I, I tested a Formula car for my first time in Spain. And then in 2015, we decided to have a go at our first championship. So I went to Malaysia and that's when I did the Formula BMW Asia Cup Series. So championship, usually a racing season starts in March, April, after the winter's done, when there's good weather. So it'll go from March, April up till October, November. So in that period of time, you'll have, let's say, 12 weekends of racing, 10, depending on the championship. And then each weekend, let's say, you have two, three races. So at each race, wherever you finish, your points will be added up. So if you finish first, let's say you get 25 points, second you get 18, third 15. So at the end of the season, they add up all those points and then whoever has the most points wins the championship. So it's not a one-off race, it's a whole year season. In Kenya, we only had the one track, that was in Solai, so all the races used to be held there. And then in Malaysia, all the races used to be held at the Formula One circuit, it's called Sepang. Then now in the UK, we have eight different circuits around the UK, so every race is at a different track. And then we also had one race in Belgium at the Formula One circuit, which was really cool. The main concept, well, between F3 and F1, it's, it's all the same thing. The cars, you can say they kind of look similar. The only difference is Formula One is bigger and faster, so you have bigger cars, bigger tires, and a more powerful engine. So from Formula 4 all the way to Formula 1, the cars are quite similar in the design, but then the more you move up, the cars get more powerful and much bigger. In comparison to Formula 1, I think Formula 3 is quite similar in terms of their professionalism. So in a team, you can have the team manager who overlook all the operations, and then you'll have the engineers who look at the computers and the data. So they'll show you why you're losing time. So there's like graphs and everything, so they'll show you where you're losing time, where you can gain time. Then you'll have like driver coaches who will watch the onboard videos of you driving. Then they'll show you take this corner differently, take this corner that way. Then we have a team of mechanics. So you'll have, let's say for myself, I have two mechanics, my number one mechanic and my number two mechanic. And they'll prepare the car, change the tires, fuel the car, service it, all, all the work is done by the mechanics. So it's a whole big operation of many people. Uh, most people think that Formula 1 is just a hobby, a fun sport, but it's actually a job. So you get employed by a team, let's say Ferrari employs me and I'll have a salary with them and then maybe I'll get a bonus with every race win or every podium finish. So yeah, it's, it's a salary system, like a normal job. My favourite Formula 1 driver, the one I look up to is Lewis Hamilton. He's, he's fast, he, he has all the qualities that racing drivers look for. My most memorable performance, I think it's the Asia Cup Series last year, August, when I got two second place finishes and a third place finish, and I won the rookie trophy. I was the overall rookie winner three times. So that was, that was really cool because I got to stand on the Formula One, where the Formula One drivers stand on the podium, out of Formula One track, so that was quite memorable. It was just, yeah, it was all fun and made me more motivated to achieve more success. My ultimate goal in the near future would be to get to Formula One and be the first Africa and first Kenya to get to become a Formula One driver and a Formula One championship. 
I don't only want to get there, but I want to win in Formula One and also take Kenya where Kenya hasn't been before in terms of Formula One and motorsport. As the awareness grows about my racing, then sponsors start to come in, but right now I'm self-sponsored. So to get to Formula One, we have what's called a ladder system. So there's clear steps that have been made. So it starts from Formula 4, Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 1. Then to move up from, let's say, Formula 4 to Formula 3, obviously you have to have the results. So as I said in the championship, if you finish, let's say, first, second, third, you make a name for yourself and then the teams in Formula 3 will accept you to join or will come looking for you to join their team in the Formula 3 and then that continues. And then also Formula 1 teams, they look out for young drivers in the lower categories. So they'll come to Formula 2, Formula 3 to look for drivers and then let's say they take the drivers, they call them the young driver program, they'll take the drivers and help them grow and then one day put them in their own Formula 1 team.